Hello people, welcome to October 2023 updates on the LinkedIn Easy Apply bot. Before I talk about the changes, um, for new users, if you are going to use the bot for the first time, um, I would suggest you guys watch my August 23 update. In this video, I've explained in very detail how you can set up the bot from scratch. Even if you don't have any experience in programming or Python, you can still watch this video follow the instructions and you will be good to go in no time number two in case you are interested to uh, use my power bi dashboard to monitor the performance of the bot for that purpose you watch this video that is my september 23 update and in this one i'm explaining how you can download my uh, uh, the, BI, the bi dashboard and that's something you can deploy on your pc to monitor the actions and the performance of the bot and also use that information or insights to fine-tune the performance of the bot all right so now let's talk about the changes uh, briefly uh, the background of these changes is that uh, of course there were feature requests some people wanted me to add a separate question uh, so they can answer uh, in the job application that whether or not they are living in a country so that's added now uh, this change affects the config ML. I will in the end of this video, I will talk about how you can update your config ML. And then I also uh, added one more question. Uh, this one is not mandatory. Even if you ignore this, that's going to be fine. But now you can explain or identify yourself as Mr., Mrs., Miss, or whatever you want to do. So that's there. And then um, I had several requests actually. Uh, many people complained that the bot was uh, stuck on one application so they had to close it manually or restart the bot and uh, although I did not face it except for uh, like five or three applications though mainly they were non-English so uh, but anyways now what I did in this update I have changed the way the bot handled the exceptions so I believe now that kind of problem would be gone and you should not experience anymore uh, that the bot was uh, stuck for long on one application all right and after these three changes one two three i eventually had to change the main.py so main.py was just changed only to accommodate one two three that's all so with this overview of the updates uh, let me talk about or uh, let me tell you how you can update the local versions so first of all, if you are the first time user of this bot, then you don't really need to worry. Watch this video or download my code from uh, scratch and you will be running the fresh code. So you don't need to worry, right? Mainly it's about the people who are already using the bot. So for them, uh, either you can use Git tool or you can use PyCharm to update the project. But talking in, in you know, the very simple solution is that you just download LinkedIn easy apply.py and main.py. Just download these two files and replace the local versions you have with, with the new downloads. And that should be it. That's all you need to do to upgrade the bot. All right. And um, now, with regards to config AML, uh, as I said, I have added uh, two new questions, right? So now I also know you guys. Uh, who are already using bot I mean you guys already have customized this file it's a long file um, I'm very sure you have spent time and efforts and it won't be nice to ask you to download the file again and read the redo the whole thing uh, so I think the best way is that you just go there on my repository and instead of clicking here click there in the October 23 updates so this will only show you the changes uh, that are actually made since the prior version all right so as I said I downloaded, uh, I updated the, the residency thing. So you can just select this text from here to here, like so, copy, and then go to your, let's say this is our config ML, for example. So you will go down, uh, this is row number 56, right? So we'll go down to row number 56. Uh, okay, so in this, in your local version of 56 would be distance, right? So just, you know, press enter a couple of times and then paste this new lines you copied from there. So that's it. And similarly for pronouns, uh, you can go to this section called personal information. It is in line 207. Go to 207 down there and just press enter like so uh, and then 
paste it. So, and then you can define Mr. or Mrs. or whatever you want to do. And that will update your, all the bot, like all the files, okay? And then you can uh, restart the bot, save the changes and restart the bot and you will be running fresh code. All right, so I hope uh, this video and these updates help. And before I sign off, let me uh, announce something. On my community tab, I, uh, just in case, right, just in case. So basically actually show, let me show it from there. So this is just in case if still somebody feels the bot was stuck. So I would request you to paste your screenshot here uh, so I can investigate and just make sure you hide your personal information. So paste the screenshot of the job application where it is stuck. And if possible, if you can uh, also copy and paste the text of error, if it is showing something like in, in typically it will show, please, please enter a valid number or like make a selection, or it might be like, uh, if it is not English, then it might be some French, Chinese or whatever. So please post it there and then I will have a look and we'll keep improving this bot. All right, so that's all for now. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying uh, this uh, bot. I hope it helps people. And that's me. Let me see you in the next update. Bye for now.